And the man increased exceedingly. The man did what? And had much cattle and made servants and men servants and camels and asses. What are you talking about? This is somebody who has been working for 14 years and he had nothing. How many years? 14 years. He had nothing. And then all of a sudden, he begins to take action. Hallelujah. He begins to do what? Take action. You see, our problem in this generation is that we have too much knowledge and we produce and we, we do too little. We know too much. If you ask somebody, what have you done with Sunday's message? Oh, I'm waiting to add some to it. Amen. Our problem is that we do little, but we have much knowledge. See, as Sunday ended, that you were in a hurry to go and pound fufu and go and eat banku. You should take the word that was preached and ask yourself, what can I do with this word this week? That is what Jacob did. Because you, Jacob, how can you, so you could be rich like this and for 14 years you had nothing? Who delayed him? Please help me. Who delayed Jacob? All along, you could put stick in something for these people to see and produce a certain kind of animal. And all along, you were sitting down. Hallelujah. If I tell you the amount of money, the gold mine you are sitting on, the resources and the talents and the giftings of God that you are sitting on, you will be surprised. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. If he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world, what has been the benefit of he that is in you? Men are carrying God. Yet we don't see the effect of God in their lives. Have you not heard that Christ in you, the hope of glory? The Bible says that if the spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in you, the Holy Spirit that created the heavens and the earth dwells in you, he will do what? Quicken, revitalize your mortal bodies. Hallelujah. That spirit is dwelling in you. The spirit of God is dwelling in you. The one that created the heavens and the earth. And he is there. You have decided to tell the spirit of God not to work. Imagine you have employed somebody and you don't give the person work. Um, I'm, I've employed you. Every month I'll pay you, okay? Why are you not working? What I've employed you? Why are you not working? No work. I've not given you work. Amen. Do you understand what is happening? A lot of us have, we have angels in our employment. We have the Holy Spirit in our employment. Yet we have given them no assignment, no task to do what? To perform on our behalf. And so because of that, look, some of you, the talent that God has put in you eh, is bigger than Ghana. Amen. Oh, praise God. Do you know some people have become bigger than their countries? Do you know some, look, if you go to America and you say Asamoajan, everybody knows Asamoajan. If you say Ghana, they don't know Ghana. True or false? Ah, you don't know they know Asamoajan more than Ghana. Yes. Praise God. If you say Ghana, they say oh, Asamoajan, Asamoajan. If you say Asamoajan, they won't say Ghana. But if you say Ghana, they can say Asamoajan. Amen. Some people, God, look, the talent that God has blessed you with is bigger than nations. Amen. Do you not read that? The Bible says that one shall what? Shall chase thousand and two shall chase ten thousand. He said one shall become a nation. Hallelujah. You, you can become a nation. What is within you is so mighty, so great. Hallelujah. And I believe that there is an explosion that is going to come over your life if you begin to see the right things. Hallelujah.